In this AutoCAD tutorial, I am going to be covering how the mirror command works in the modify panel. So the mirror command is very simple and it can make um, drawing symmetrical things and uh, you know that type of thing very simple. So here I have this simple shape that we created using the rotate tool in the last video. And I'm going to show how to make a mirrored copy of it essentially. So I will come up here uh, to the modify panel and say I want to mirror this. All right. So just like everything else in the modify panel, I need to select the objects. I could come in and individually click those. Or if you remember, when I select something, I could do a larger uh, rectangle around it. Um, so if you had a lot of little shapes, that would be easier. Once I'm done selecting, I have to hit enter. Um, so CAD knows that I'm done with that selection process. Now it will be asking me for the first point of the mirror line. So I would like this to mirror vertically and at this point I'll just let them butt up against this edge. So I can just pick for example this end point here and now it says the second point of the mirror line. So I could come up to the midpoint or up here it doesn't really matter. So when I click um, it will initially disappear and sometimes it makes you feel like you did something wrong but you didn't. What CAD is doing is asking you a question down in the command line. It's asking you to erase the source objects, yes or no. So if I say yes, I will just be left with the reverse copy and this original one will disappear. It's defaulting at no, so if I just hit enter, I will have both. So I have this copy and then the original. So to do that um, again in a slightly different way, I will just undo that. Control Z twice. And this time I will do a little bit of a space in between. So I can use the mirror command again and I will select my square and my triangle and hit enter. But maybe this time I actually don't want it butted up against the back. What I want to do is create a space in between. So I can use my object snap tracking. Okay, I can hover over this point but not click pull my mouse off to the right and say what distance do I want this to be now because it's a mirror it will double it so if I say three inches here it will create a six inch gap for example so I will type in three enter okay and at first it's kind of wanting to flip that down and that seems wrong but I can do is just pull my line up and you see how it's three inches from that point so if I just pull my mouse up and click then it will ask me if I want to erase that source object or not. I'll say no. So I just hit enter. And now I have an exact mirrored copy six inches away from the original. Okay, so if I draw a line in there from here out three inches, you'll see that there's an exact six inch gap in between. I could do this again by doing a mirror, selecting all four of these objects, enter. And perhaps I want to come from here down three inches. And then I'll pull my line out this way. And remember, that's the axis that I'm creating for the mirror line. So it's a bit like folding a piece of paper in half or something like that. So when I click out here, hit enter for no, now I have a symmetrical mirrored copy, both vertically and horizontally.